As if it weren't enough that we're giving you Bloodstone and Epic Dwarven Tale for free in this month's episode, we're also taking the time to show you how to get the game started. Although you're the hero of this piece, you're not expected to storm the castle Entimar, retrieve the Mighty Axe Kavalkad, and unite the warring dwarf tribes of your own, although we all know you're certainly capable of doing it yourself. You'll have some help along the way, including three companions so you'll get to choose at the beginning of the game. In selecting from your pool of eight candidates, you'll quickly discover that none of them are perfect or even close. Be grateful that they're all willing to follow you in what looks like to be an extremely dangerous mission, but remember that they all have different strengths and weaknesses. Once you've selected the volunteers who will accompany you in your mission, you're given 30 points to improve their skills. Each upgrade of an attribute, such as bravery or charm, costs three points, while improving a skill costs one point. You're better off concentrating on one or two different attributes for each party member here, since the skills will improve with experience as you play the game. I've always had a tough time coming up with creative names for characters, so I have a system. When you need a companion, choose a nickname that will remind you of what his area of expertise is. Once you've put your party together, click on Use and call up the map which will show you that the exit from the cavern is to the southwest. Before you exit the cavern, you'll come under attack from the evil Taldors. This actually isn't bad, since it gives you a chance to practice your fighting skills before you move out into the cold, cruel world. In addition to slicing and dicing your foes with axes, swords, and crossbows, don't forget to use your magic spells. It's a lot easier to kill a cranky Taldor when your weakened spell has reduced his shield to a pile of dust. Also, since this isn't the 90s, you don't have to just say no to drugs. Eat the various mushrooms, leaves, flowers, and potions that you're carrying when you're fighting, since they will temporarily increase your skills. After you've routed the Taldors and ransacked their bodies for valuables, you'll leave the cavern and enter the land of Asserine on the continent of Tark. Move to the south and enter the camp, where you'll get the chance to practice your conversational skills by talking with Mantar. Send the member of your party with the most charm to chat with Mantar, who is full of information. As the text of your conversation shows up on the message screen, you'll notice words highlighted in red. These are subjects you should follow up on. Once you've pumped Mantar for all he knows, exit the camp. Based on what you've learned, you'll head north to meet the dwarves of Tamar, or south to meet the dwarves of Morin, as you begin your quest to reunite the kingdom. Good luck.